Hi, my name is Kumiko Usuda Sato from the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, NAOJ. We created a whole set of the Touch the Universe tactile exhibition. We believe that an existing borrowing and lending system of this exhibition set can break a barrier for many museums in Japan to hold their own tactile exhibition. In our slides, we use the recommended color combination, considering people with color deficiency. This is the table of recommended color combination by Color Universal Design Organization Japan. We use the recommended colors for the display written in blue, like this. For example, we use yellowish red and yellowish blue. Also, we use large Gothic or sun-safe letters, considering low vision people who are hard to see letters. There are some barriers for museums to hold an inclusive tactile exhibition, even though there are various tactile 3D models in the world for blind and visually impaired people and also for sighted people. We developed tactile models of the telescope and held the Touch the Universe exhibition at Japan Braille Library in 2018 and Akashi Municipal Planetarium in 2019. We are now planning the third one at Sendai Astronomical Observatory. The right image is the poster of the exhibition at Taktus Museo, the tactile museum of Japan Braille Library. The blue one in the poster is the 3D model of the Subaru telescope that we developed. For more details, please read our paper, Usuda Sato et al. in the CAP journal. So there are many tactile resources and for many of them, 3D printable files are downloadable. However, many museum staff members may have barriers because they do not know how to create the models with a 3D printer. Using a 3D printer may be a barrier. In addition, many of them do not have enough experiences of communicating with blind and visually impaired people, and they may feel insecure. This is why we created the Touch the Universe project team to break the barrier for museum staff members in Japan. And we won a grant from the Japan Science Museum Association in the last fiscal year. The PI primary investigator of this project is Yasuhito Suzuki from Akashi Municipal Planetarium. Using the grant, we created a whole set of the Touch the Universe tactile exhibition, like the one held at Akashi in 2019 in these images. We already completed this phase one at the end of March, 2021. As phase two, we will launch an official website of this project and share resources and additional information. Through phase two, we will increase awareness and expand the national network of inclusive astronomy. This project collaborates with four institutions, NAOJ, Japan Braille Library, Akashi Municipal Planetarium, and Sendai Astronomical Observatory. The right image shows the core members. Each institution has different strengths and we are happy to create this dream team. For example, NAOJ is a research institute and we can provide 3D models of celestial bodies and the telescope. The lower left shows the 3D models of the two asteroids, Ryugu and Itokawa. Japanese spacecraft went to them and were successful in sample return. A NAOJ researcher created these asteroid models at the same scale using the latest surface topography data. Japan Braille Library is an expert of blind and visually impaired. They provide know-how and tips for developing tactile exhibition and communicating with visually impaired people. Akashi Municipal Planetarium and Sendai Astronomical Observatory are science museums outside of Tokyo. They are experts in communicating astronomy with the public. 
and they are already communicating with people with disabilities. They also work with local governments to expand networks in their cities. We also have collaborators inside and outside of Japan. You may already know A Touch of the Universe, an international project for a tactile astronomy kit. Amelia Otis Hill from the Valencia Observatory, Spain, provided 3D printable files and additional information. Using their files, we created the 3D models of the Moon and Mars. You may also know about the Universe in a Box, an educational kit of the European Universe Awareness. Pedro Russo from Leiden University, Netherlands, provided the boxes to IAUOAO, Office for Astronomy Outreach, located at NAOJ. Lina Kenas, the director of IAUOAO, kindly donated one set of the planet balls. With the Japan Braille Library supervision, we put each small ball in a transparent bag and added a printed and Braille label on it. Professor Shin Minishige from Kyoto University, Japan, and his collaborators developed tactile images of the Moon, Jupiter, and other celestial bodies using the dots and published multimodal astronomy textbooks. We borrowed some of them. Thank you very much, Amelia, Pedro, Lina, and Minishige san. These are the 3D tactile models in the exhibition set. From the top left to lower right, Earth to asteroid, Ryugu and Itokawa, the Moon, Mars, and the Subaru Telescope. Each model has a description panel, like the top right, with both printed and braille letters. We also added tips about how to touch and understand the models. The exhibition set includes the scale models of the planet of the solar system. The top left shows the handmade model by Akashi Municipal Planetarium. The knots of the rope represent the locations of the sun and planets. Each knot has a printed and braille label. The top right shows the relative size of the planets with printed and braille labels. The lower images are the Jupiter tactile image with its description. So we completed creating the Touch the Universe exhibition set and delivered it to the office of the Japan Science Museum Association. Now we are going to start phase two to provide additional resources. At first, we will create an official website and upload audio guide and movie files with QR codes so that museum staff members can use the files at their exhibition. Also, we are planning to upload tips for the exhibition and communication with blind and visually impaired people. We believe that these resources can make museum staff members feel comfortable and confident to hold their own tactile exhibition. Next, as a phase three, we would like to provide inclusive astronomy workshops as requested by museum staff members. The purpose is not only to help them hold their exhibition, but also to expand the national network of inclusive astronomy. Through the network, we hope to improve the exhibition set and workshop upon their feedback. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many science museums are currently closed. After the state of emergency in Tokyo and the other prefectures, we will start the phase two work. In conclusion, we, the Touch the Universe project team from four institutions created the whole set of the tactile exhibition. Many museums can hold their exhibition through the existing borrowing and lending system without using a 3D printer. Through this project, we will expand the national network of inclusive astronomy. Thank you very much for listening to our presentations.